in 1966, I was working at Southwestern Bell at 812 Jackson. My kids were at the babysitter. So we were able to follow the tornado through town by watching the lights on the switchboard. It started with Crestwood, two, seven, two or three now. And they'd come on really, really bright and then they'd go totally blank, totally dead, all the way across town. We could follow it that way. And we really didn't know what was happening. There's no windows in that building that you could actually see out. All we knew is what people coming in were telling us. And when the tornado went over the top of our building, we could hear the roar in our headsets. We, everybody was throwing their headsets off across the room because it really hurt. Two hours after the tornado went through, my boss came over and she says, where are your kids? And I said, well, they're uh, at the babysitters. And she says, where's that? And I said, 13th in Kansas. And she said, I think you better go find them. So I walked up to 13th in Kansas as close as I could get and the police wouldn't let me go through. And I could look and there wasn't really anything there. So I didn't know what else to do, so I went back to work. And then I called my mother and found out that, well, first of all, she answered the phone and I said, did you have any damage? And she said, I don't know, it's going overhead right now. I said, why did you answer the phone? She says, well, I was on my way to the basement. I had my rosary and my shotgun, and the phone rang. But what I did find out is my father had followed the tornado practically from Burnett's Mound all across town, stopped at my place, grabbed clothes for the kids and for me, and he went to the babysitters. And they had been in the basement, and he found them just the babysitter and the kids just kind of wandered around so that he took them over to their house. So, but I didn't know about that really until the next day.